Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. So this morning, I've made a mistake that no landscape photographer should ever make. And it's a mistake that I preach and always, always tell people not to do. And that mistake is simply arriving at my location too late. And as a result, I am now chasing the light. And there is nothing worse than chasing the light on a beautiful, beautiful morning. But there's nothing I can do now. I need to crack on, and I also need a little bit of good fortune with the surrounding cloud cover. So I found my first composition rather hastily. In fact, I feel like it's been too hastily found because as I said, as I said before, I was chasing the light. But what really caught my attention uh, are all of these trees. In fact, I'm surrounded by beautiful trees, beautiful snow covered trees. And I'm trying to take advantage of that while the light is good. Um, and it's good right now. So I've framed a very simple composition and I should also say that in my haste when packing my gear this morning, because I was late, I also forgot any filters. So we are operating filterless today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So the sun's just starting to poke out. You can probably see it illuminating my face as I speak to you. It's rising from the clouds to the east. And you can see that the snow around me will soon become incredibly bright. So actually, it may not be the best composition here and it is the first one that I've hastily found. But right now the light is just fantastic. So I'm gonna to continue to shoot as I talk you through the process, but it's very simple. You know, with me, it's always simple, I always say. When you're, when you're frantically looking for composition, especially when conditions are really good and favorable like they are now, just keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Um, and that's what I've done to start with here. Uh, I have these beautiful trees, as I mentioned, and I felt I needed something, anything in my foreground just to add that little bit of interest. And here we have some long grass, tufts of grass pushing through the snow just to act as a bit of foreground anchor, a bit of interest, and you're gonna, then you're gonna go beyond into the trees. So the only decision I really need to make is whether I shoot it horizontal or portrait. So I'm just gonna do both. Why not, eh? Treat myself. <laughs> so I'm not worrying about depth of field. I'm focusing on the trees, which is the main subject, F11. That is going to give me a beautifully sharp image front to back. These tufts of grass are about 15 feet away from my lens, so no problems at all. And I guess that's it. I have very little else to share about this composition. And if I'm being completely honest, I'd rather pack away, crack on 
and find something else. So I have a feeling that today might be one of those uh, days, one of those days where I make a video. It's just image, 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 because although <laughs> the conditions are fantastic, I'm finding myself incredibly indecisive on composition. So I just kind of wanted to shoot everything and everything that I shoot, I want to share with you. So composition number two, I will briefly explain. I'm just walking around these beautiful trees on this on this fell in the Lake District and they're all covered in snow. We've got the sun rising to the east, but mountains in the background, huge snow covered mountains in the background with storm clouds still over those mountains. So I have a very dramatic background and I'm trying to nicely fill the foreground. Here we have beautiful snow plastered trees from one side, just catching a bit of light, a lovely straight line that the trees almost frame the mountains in the background and what's really important here is not only do we have light on the mountains but we also have storm clouds above the mountains so the the scene is beautifully lit there's no harsh bright highlights it's full of drama and interest my main concern with this shot is that the bottom half of the image or the middle of the image is too messy it's difficult to separate these trees from the background. You know, I'd love a cleaner background, but it's difficult for me to judge until I get it on, on the computer and have a look. Um, but yeah, second image of the day, and can't wait to shoot this and move on to the next. Absolutely fantastic, what a morning. I'm not massively convinced by any of the images that I've taken this morning. But I suppose the main thing is I'm coming at this morning slightly differently to how I would normally approach a photo shoot. So what I would like to do, preferably, is explore an area, walk around, you know, look at lots of different compositions, then choose the one that I'm most happy with and shoot it when the light's good. But because I was late this morning, because the light's good and the location's good and the snow's here and it doesn't last very long. I, instead of looking at different compositions and then deciding whether or not to shoot them, I'm looking at them and I'm just shooting them, <laughs> which is great. And that's probably, if I'm being completely honest with you, that's probably how I would shoot more often if I wasn't filming. So today's video is, uh, is going to be I don't know, a little bit less B-rolly than usual. So it's becoming more and more difficult to um, find compositions because the light is so incredibly harsh. Uh, it's blue skies now. All the weather has moved on. The wind's picking up. Uh, which means the snow's getting blown off the trees and the lights, as you can see behind me, very harsh. So you get these bright highlights. So I'm coming into the woods hoping to find something, but I'll be completely honest with you. Uh, I'll be surprised if I find 
another image uh, that I'm super happy with. Uh, well, you know, it's great fun walking around. I just wanted to explain something though, because I'm sure that a lot of you have noticed this this contraption, this uh, this hammock, this basket <laughs> that's uh, on my tripod. And I was uh, I was in the states with the F4 group filming our um, course that we're releasing at the end of the year, and I met this guy. I'm so sorry, I've forgotten his name. I've forgotten your name if you're watching this, but he had one of these on his tripod and I thought, wow, what a solution to a problem for me as somebody who does photography and filming in one go, because I'm one of those people that will quite regularly chop and change lenses. You know, like, I wanna, I wanna change, I wanna change lenses and I put the camera or whatever between my knees and some things in my teeth and when I'm filming, I've got the camera in one hand and I'm trying to do something with that in the other and then on days like today when it's snowy or when it's wet and stuff like that, I don't like putting stuff on the ground, filters, drones, anything, all manner of things. Uh, so this basket, I'll, I'll link to it, it was like 15 quid on Amazon, so if you're changing lenses and you're a bit kind of handsy, you just bosh, put stuff in the basket. I, I get very excited by simple products like this. Uh, forget your, forget your five, you know, your blooming EOS R5Rs and your X-T4s. This, this is the sort of stuff you should be spending your money on. So, I'm in the middle of framing a composition which I've been messing on with for about half an hour. And then I thought I heard a horse. I thought I must be going mad. Because there are wild horses around these fells, but they're seldom seen. But I can tell you there's two of them just behind me. Two white, wild horses. I do not look but I'm gonna switch lenses and see if I can photograph them. This is awesome. Say the uh, basket's coming in useful. Ever expected to be shooting these horses. Wow. I never thought that I'd be doing wildlife. But this is just phenomenal. I've got the horses in the bottom of the frame. Backlit by the sun. Mountains in the background. Oh, it's beautiful. Let me just focus. Ooh. Uh, there we go. Focus, focus. Let me talk you through the image that I was taking right before I got interrupted by those wild horses. I'm just going to darken you down as that sun comes out. And actually, that sun coming out is a perfect opportunity to me, for me to explain what I was doing. So you see this tree here, boom, boom, that one there, yeah? See how it's arcing over? And on there we go. It's, <laughs> I can't do it on the screen, I've got no coordination. So see how it's arcing over like that. And then in this area, yeah, in that area, there uh, it's the mountains, the, the snow-covered mountains of the Lake District. And what I wanted to do was frame the mountains with a tree. Now there are hundreds of trees all around me. I just really struggled to find one that was, you know, that would frame the mountains without something else coming in and interrupting it. And honestly, after about half an hour of pretty much looking at every tree in the vicinity, I stumbled upon, well, I didn't stumble upon, I decided upon this tree here. Got again a square crop, simplify the scene, use the trunk and the uh, branches arcing over full of snow. And when the sun comes out like it is now, it hits the snow and then it reflects back 
onto the underside of the tree. So it's all about the light. Without the light, this image would not work. It would be terrible. But with the reflected light off the snow, highlighting the tree, it almost looks like studio lighting, like product photography for a tree or something. It's fantastic. So that's the shot that I got right before being uh, disturbed by the horses. So I'll show you that image and then I'm going to stick around a bit and see if those horses get up and get on the move and maybe get a few more photographs. Oh, there's three of them! <laughs> when did that happen? So I think I might have got a shot or two of the horses, but they were too smart for me. They know what they're doing. They just like to hide behind long grass and bushes, so I can't get a clean shot. But yeah, I, I didn't want to disturb them, and I was getting cold, so um, I'm heading back down now. And I think I'm gonna end the video here. It's been, you know what? It's been refreshing. It's been, it's been a fantastic morning, usually, you know, recently I've been putting a lot of effort into the production value of my videos and I thoroughly enjoy that, it's fantastic. But every now and again, I love just getting out and just frantically finding and shooting images, you know, get excited by the conditions and light. And when conditions are like this, it is, it is hard not to just run around like a madman and photograph everything. And that's what I've done, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm not saying any of the images were good. Um, I don't know. I, I just, all I know is that today has been one of the most enjoyable days of photography that I've had in a long time. And I hope that came across in this video. And the horses, what a bonus, eh? <laughs> what a fantastic bonus. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my one and only sponsor Squarespace <laughs> for sponsoring this video. Uh, if you don't know who Squarespace are, and I'm sure you're probably sick of me saying this every other week, but Squarespace are an all-in-one website building website. So you go on and you just build a website. It's so, so easy. In fact, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, well, I did, I've done it a couple of times, but I'm gonna switch my website over to Squarespace, I think. Uh, just for the ease of use, so I can update it and change it as and when. Uh, so yeah, if you if you want to give Squarespace a go to host, you know, to showcase your photography and stuff, then go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and give it a free try. And if you like free try, use the offer code Heaton for 10% off your first purchase. God, my arm is aching. <laughs> my arm is aching. Man, I don't know how the likes of Brendan Van Son walk around with a gimbal, a full frame DSLR and a, a big beefy lens. Oh my God, I'm struggling. Right. Thank you guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. So, yeah. Until next time. Bye for now.